Hello and welcome to our tutorial on how to add and manage categories in WordPress 3.0. My name is Cherie Pearson and I'm here today from Pearson Communications to just show you how to manage categories in WordPress 3.0. Alright, so what exactly am I talking about when I say a category? A category, and we'll look at our home page of our uh, sample site here, we'll see that here this is a site about trees. Right now we only have one category called trees. Now let's pretend that we want to expand this site to cover both trees and flowers. So we want to walk through the process of how to set up categories for our articles that we're going to write in terms of whether those uh, articles are about trees or flowers and, and, and different types of trees or flowers or so on. So we'll walk through that process. The first thing you want to do is log into your WordPress back end of your site and that's what we're looking at now. You, when you log in you see your dashboard. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to posts. If you click on the triangle next to post, you'll see categories. We're going to click on categories. Now we see the categories that we currently have. So I'd like to do two things. One, I want to change this trees category to types of trees. So we'll go ahead and click edit under trees. And we want this category title to be types of trees. Okay, so I've changed the name. The slug, um, just so that you understand, the slug is the URL friendly version of the name and it's usually in lowercase and it only contains letters or numbers and hyphens. So you can't put a space in a slug. So what we'll do is we'll put a hyphen there um, and we want to make, I like to make it identical to the name. So type hyphen of hyphen trees. And so I make it identical to the name. That way I always know exactly what the slug is for that. In our case, we want uh, the types of trees to be a top level category so it doesn't have a parent. Now let's say we're going to go in and we're going to add different types of trees, for instance like a willow tree or an elm tree or an oak tree. Those would be child categories under the, the types of tree and I'll show you exactly how to do that. And finally, you get an opportunity to put in a description for your category. So in this case, we'll just say these articles are about trees. And that's, that's it. All you have to do is click Update and it'll update that particular category. And now we see the description is there that we entered, the slug is now changed, and the title has been changed from just trees to types of trees. So under trees, we want to have, uh, let's add a couple of categories. The first category we'd like to add is willow. And we'll just make the slug willow. The parent in this case would then be types of trees. So we'll select that and we'll say that, and I, I'll just copy and paste from over here because it's easier than typing it all in. Um, these articles are about willow trees. Okay? And once that's done, we click Add a New Category. Now, you'll notice that the willow tree category now ha is under the types of trees and it also has a dash in front of it, which means it is that types of trees is the parent for willow trees. Okay, and uh, let's just keep complete this uh, section by going ahead and we're going to add elm tree as another subcategory. Types of trees is the parent, and then we'll say these article these articles are about elm trees. All right, and we add that new category, and we're done. Okay, and so we see now that Elm and Willow both have the little hyphen in front of them to let us know that they belong under types of trees. Now let's say we want to create another top level category and this one is going to be types of flowers. And the slug again would be types hyphen of hyphen flowers. Okay, and the parent in this case is none. We don't want it to go in under types of trees or anything else. We want it to be top level. And in this case, we'll make the description. These articles are about flowers. Okay, and I'll click Add New Category. Now you see we have two top level categories, and then one of them has two sub, sub level levels below that. So we want to go ahead and add two types of flower categories. Um, and so we'll add at first, probably one of the most popular flowers, rose. And again, we'll put our slug in for rose. 
the parent in this case will be type of flowers and I realized I made an, a mistake so we'll go back and check that because it's type of flowers and it should be types so uh, in this case we'll just finish our description here these articles are about roses and we'll save that and then I realized I put types of flowers instead of types so we want to just do an edit right quick of that um, and I'll put in types so that it matches okay and we'll update that really fast. The other thing you can do if you want to just only change certain elements is you can do a quick edit. What that'll do is we could have just changed the name right here and then update the category if that's what we want to do. So just showing you how to do it both ways. So now we have rows um, under types of flowers and the next one we'll put under here will be a lily. And the slug is lily. And we're going to say these articles are about lilies, oops, I misspelled lilies, I've never been a, a good a good speller, and uh, under types of flowers, that's what we have, and then we'll click add new category. So now we have si a total of uh, six categories, two top level categories, types of flowers and types of trees, and then we also have subcategories to each one of those. So now when we go back to our home page, we can refresh our home page and we should see that um, right now we are only showing the, the categories that have an article in them so this cat this article is about a willow tree so we know we have a subcategory for that so let's go back to our back end and look at our posts because that was a particular um, article or a post about all about the willow tree and if we click yeah. on a quick edit for that then we can select which subcategories and categories we want that article to appear in. In this case, now that we've added Willow, we'll make it go into the Willow Tree category. And we'll update it. And so now that we've selected the appropriate category, we should also see on our home page when we refresh it that now that category appears as well because we have an article. Right now we've only got one article but we see that we have types of trees and then also willow trees under categories. So if we were to click on that category then we would see all of the articles that fall into that category. In this case we only have one but we actually get the excerpt from that particular article and if we had 10 articles we would see 10 excerpts um, and, and if we want to read the actual article we just simply click continue reading and it takes us to the page with the full article on it. Okay so that's pretty much it uh, in terms of our categories tutorial. Uh, things to remember are just that it helps if you go ahead and map out an outline of how you want your categories to go and then enter them all at one time. That way when you write your articles you don't have to try to figure out new categories and how and what the hierarchy should be. It's all done. Again my name is Cherie Pearson and I'm of Pearson Communications. If you have any questions about your WordPress 3.0 and you'd like to ask them of us please feel free to visit our website at www.pearsoncommunications.com com, or you can email us at tutorials at pearsoncommunications.com. We'd be happy to answer any questions you have and maybe even create a tutorial just for you because of the question you ask us. Thanks and have a great day.